back to the channel and this lab is easy but a little bit tricky because we have to work on the username 1 and username 2 at the same time so i request you please watch the video carefully so first of all just simply login with your both the username like this way and i will re recommend you just simply separate those as i done over here and as you can see on my left side this is my username 1 and on my right side this is my username 2 if i just simply switch back to my username 1 and if i just simply copy this username just simply copy like this and if i just simply search over here you can see it's magic that mean on this page i'm logging with my username 1 now what you do on the username 1 just simply click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait now just simply search for the IAM over here open this thing new tab now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just simply come back over here and copy this username 2 make sure that you have to copy this username too just simply copy like this come back over here click on this grand access and just simply paste over here and then just simply paste and then click on this blank space like this now for the role just simply come back over here click on the task number one just simply scroll down and from here you can see jk grand access role just simply scroll down and from the point number six just simply copy this role like this way and make sure that you do not copy this last full term just simply copy like this just simply search over here choose that and then click on save it's done now click on this service account now click on this compute at direct developer just simply click over here and then click on this permission tab and again click on this grant access now for the new principle again just simply copy this username too just simply copy like this just simply paste hit enter and then click on this blank space like this now for the role again just simply click on this add another role now again just simply scroll down and from here you can see grant service account role just simply scroll down and from point number seven just simply copy this role just simply copy like this just simply search over here choose that role and then click on save now just simply wait and that means you had done with the two tasks now what you will do if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will not get a score because lab take time to update the score so no need to worry about that now what you will do we have to just simply switch back to user 2 so just simply come back over here click on this now we are logging with the username 2 so just simply click on this checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and activate your cloud share it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share one github link and then you are able to access this document now for now this lab is static but in future they might make this lab dynamic so that every time when you start the lab the export region zone will be changed so in that way i am configure this command so basically what you do first of all just simply copy this export region command just simply copy like this come back over here before that let me increase the text size for you and make sure that you log in with your username too for this task now just let me increase the text size is done now just simply paste the export region command so for that just simply come back to the lab instruction click on the task number one just simply scroll down and from here you can see from the point number seven this zone so basically what we have to export we have to export region for that just simply copy let me just zoom in for you just simply copy from here till one do not copy this dash and this alphabet just simply copy like this for exporting the region just simply paste over here and it's done now what you do the again just simply switch back to the github repo now what you do we have to just simply export the zone so just simply copy like this paste over here like this way now again just simply switch back over here now again copy whole thing like this way because we are exporting zone now just simply paste and done now again just simply come back over here copy this cluster paste over here now for the cluster name again just simply switch back and from the point number five just simply copy this name do not copy this comma just simply copy like this and just simply paste over here now just for the cross verification if you just simply come back over here and copy this command and paste over here you will get all these values okay once done with this now just simply scroll down now copy this command just simply copy like this paste over here just wait and then click on authorize now this command is going to take at least five to six minutes so just wait and make sure that your laptop will not go for sleep otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect and because of that you might face unnecessary error so just make sure of that thing
and as you can see it's finally done now you can just simply close this tab now we don't have to work any on username 2 now just simply switch back to the username 1 just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that okay just simply wait now click on continue now what he'll do just simply come back over here just simply scroll down now just simply copy this export my zone command just simply copy like this click on got it now just simply paste like this way now again just simply come back to the lab instructions let me just zoom out from here just simply scroll down click on the task number two just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this zone just simply copy like this way come back over here and paste now again just simply come back to the github repo just simply scroll down now copy this cluster name just simply paste over here like this way again just simply switch back over here copy this cluster like this way paste and it's done okay now what he'll do just simply come back over here copy all this command paste and hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now just simply wait for this command get execute and once it's done you are done with this lab And as you can see at last we are getting the error error from server like this no need to worry about that because if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and just simply scroll down and from here you can see they already mentioned that we will get this kind of error so no need to worry about that now if we just simply click on this check my progress we will get a green tick without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry as you can see i'm getting this kind of error no need to worry about that just again click on the check my progress because lab take time to update the score so just simply wait keep hitting on check my progress we will get a green tick for sure And as you can see we got a green tick now just simply scroll up and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick for sure and from here you can just simply check the score and as you can see we got 20 out of 20 and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys